I don't date American black men. I've never dated an American black man. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. And my reasons are quite simple. So a few days ago, I made a video about coffee dates and I basically talked about how I would never accept a coffee date as a first date. I think it's low effort and it's just not my thing. Surprisingly enough, and I was genuinely surprised, 98% of the commenters and the people that were upset were American black men. So shocked because I didn't think that video would land on their For You page, but it did. And I think it's safe to say that we already know why she doesn't date black men. I remember doing a video about her some months ago, and this is what she's saying. There is nothing attractive about a hood tyrant. Let me say it again. There is absolutely nothing attractive about a hood tyrant. Girls, I want the best for black women. I really do. But it's really hard because women in our community are attracted to a certain type of man because that is what they deem as masculine or hyper masculine basically if you're not riding around with a glock on your hip <laughs> if you're not walking around with your pants sagging to your ankles if you don't have several baby mamas and you're a lame <laughs> So if you already know that black women are attracted to hood guys, why is it that you're just now saying that you don't date black men? In my honest opinion, I think we know why. Yep. Hundreds of them, hundreds, were crying on my shoulder over the fact that I would not drink bean juice on a first date with a man or with anyone. They were in my comments calling me all types of names, saying that I'm a gold digger and saying that I'm this and that. And then unprovoked, they started attacking me for my looks. By the way, I was so nice in that video. I did not insult anyone in that video, but they were insulting me. See, black women gather around because I'm gonna be talking to you yet again when all you do is date hood guys. You are addicted to the hood kings. Yep. So when you date hood guys, you cannot complain. And then you wonder why you lay down with dogs and you get up with fleas. And this is the reason why modern women, black women, and women of the 21st century, you're all getting made fun of. They were coming at me for my skin color, saying that I'm too dark and that I shouldn't have any standards. They were coming at me for my Afrocentric features. They were coming at me because I have an Afrocentric hairstyle in. Black American men honestly have this habit of attacking black women for the way that they look, especially if you are a darker skinned woman or you have more Afrocentric features, they will attack you. So the fact that they came at me for my looks unprovoked is not surprising to me at all. So reading the comments, and watching the stitches it brought up a discussion between me and my parents about why i don't date american black men american black men generally do not value courtship traditionalism or even marriage and i'm not saying that all american black men are like this but a large majority are they will berate you break you down and take advantage of you i don't know why but the sight of seeing a black woman a dark-skinned black woman having standards really does bother them. Black women, there is a reason why you're the least desired and the least married, because the only men you date are the hood king. Think about it, ladies. If all you do is sit around and date hood guns all your life, and then a good guy comes to stand before you, you're not even going to know what to do. And the problem is, is that we've never discussed why. Why do black women date hood guns? Well, I'll tell you why. The first reason why is because their moms do it. Maybe it's because in their mind, nobody ever talks about this, but 
They believe black women, dark skinned black women deserve crumbs. Colorism is real and they think that we deserve crumbs and that we shouldn't have any standards. I mean, I was getting so many messages and comments saying, you're dark skin, why do you have all these standards? The only reason why that video got them really upset was because it basically told them to do better. And they do not take well at all to being told to do better, as you can clearly see. And it's because they are not required to. They are used to giving women nothing, giving women crumbs, but then receiving the world back. So when they were watching my video, they were so upset. They were like, oh, no, no, no. You want me to take you on a proper date? A proper date when all I'm used to is inviting women back to my house or inviting women on a nature walk as a first date or inviting women to my car to link and smoke? You want me to actually put in effort? No, I'm not used to that at all. They are literally in my comments saying, what makes you think you deserve a meal? You need to prove yourself. And when American black men say that you need to prove yourself, that just basically means you need to go through hell and back with him. They don't want to put in the effort because they're lazy, they are entitled, and they are cheap. We already know that black women are leading in the race when it comes to single motherhood. We already know that black women are leading in the race when it comes to divorces. And we wonder why that is. It's the conditioning that the black woman is exposed to. Statistics show that children that grow up in single family households that show that children who are raised by single mothers that go on to achieve great things, but on the aggregate, the data shows that the odds of graduating from high school, getting a college degree, and having high earnings in adulthood are substantially lower for children who grow up in single mother homes. Families headed by single mothers are five times more likely to live in poverty than families headed by a married couple because having two adults in the home who can bring an income lessens the chance that the family is poor. As any parent will readily attest, raising children takes a lot of resources, money, time, emotional energy, and more. Most single mothers start from behind. They're less likely to have a college education or a high income. Single motherhood is a lot less prevalent in higher educated women. Women that were raised in a single parent household are more likely to continue that trajectory. Then you not only have the odds stacked against you, so grow up in poor, low income and hood neighborhoods, you get that hood mentality. And then on top of that, you bring that hood mentality into a non hood world. Then you wonder why the only group of men that took on your fancy is the resident hood guy. Black women at the end of the day, you make yourself look bad. And that's why the world is laughing at you. All the races of men laugh at you. And here's why. You treat your own men like garbage. You run them away to other races. Then on top of that, you promote degenerate culture. You dress like 304s. You don't care about morals and standards. And when somebody tries to correct you, you cry tooth and nail, foam at the mouth when anybody gives you correction. And you look at all that and you wonder why you're single. Anyway, y'all, that's been it. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know whenever I upload new content. And until the next video, peace.